What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And ah, sorry, I thought I seen a spider on my wall. It's just my wall. <laughs> uh, but uh, well, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Slackers, and we got some major news for Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. There is a lot to cover here. Like you could make several, several, several videos about this stuff. But let's jam pack it all into one action pack news video. So uh, there's a lot of questions that people ask. Base roster, character count, DLC, is that a thing? Voice acting, what about game modes? What about this, this, and this? And this? There's so many things that people ask questions for that we're about to get a lot of those answers too. Now, you might not like some of the answers, but then again, you can't like everything in life. You can't always get whatever you want, but there's some really good stuff. So let me just jump into it. Uh, I think, uh, like I said, there's quite a bit to dive into, so I'm going to go over what I think most of us would want answers to, uh, but... Uh, Again, we'll, there's a lot here to dive into. So let me go. Let me start off with the possibly the the biggest one, and that is going to be about the base roster and DLC. Guess what? DLC is a thing. We'll get into it. So, uh, how many characters? Right here. Here's the question that was asked. How many characters are you planning for the initial release of All Star Brawl? And uh, what are your plans for DLC characters and stages down the line? You know, when might those show up for post-launch content? That was the question. The answer is, well, at launch, there will be 20 characters, not 22. They did have that tease of 22 characters back at Gamescom, but um, they do state, they follow that up with two more follow, or with two more characters following soon after the launch of the game. So maybe within a one month time frame, we get those two extra characters. So the, the way I'm reading this is uh, maybe I'm getting the wrong impersonation here, but maybe these two characters in their stages, maybe they're just not fully polished and they're holding off and they're going to release the game how it is. And these two characters are just going to come along later. Hopefully it doesn't say if they're free DLC. It doesn't say if they're paid. So I'm hoping that since these seem like they should have been base roster, at least in my opinion, it kind of seems that way. With the 22 character tees from Gamescom, it does seem like this should have been a part of the base roster. Hopefully it's just, all right, we need a little bit more time to polish them up, and then we'll release them for free, hopefully. There's no confirmation that they're free yet, but uh, yes, two characters shortly after the game releases to bump it up to 22, which is good. Okay, 22, cool. And then additional DLC characters. This is what a lot of people are hoping for. Additional DLC characters, multiple at least a minimum of two, will be revealed shortly after that, so stay tuned. So, DLC, so your characters, people that uh, maybe are holding out hopes for a Jimmy, a Timmy, a Jenny, a Otis, a LT Grey, a, whoever you might be holding out hope for that might not make base game, Squidward, more SpongeBob characters, guess what? They still got a shot. They still got a shot, so I'm excited for that nonetheless. DLC is now officially confirmed it's going to happen. Good stuff. All right. Another big talking point in the community is voice acting, voice lines, voice over, if you will. Uh, some people are kind of put off by the idea of, well, this doesn't have voice acting because, you know, Smash Bros has that. So why doesn't this? Stop comparing this to Smash Bros. You're not giving it a fair comparison, right? You're comparing this to Smash Ultimate. You're comparing it to a different topic. Voice acting, though, nonetheless, is not in the base roster. But there's some other news here. So... How many of the characters, here's the question, right? How many of the characters announced so far have iconic voices uh, attached to them? Are their characters included, are, are the characters included voiced by their original actors? If so, who's on board? So which characters might have voice acting with them for the base game? Uh, and then uh, the answer is our focus is on creating the best possible gameplay experience for core brawling fans and Nickelodeon fans around the globe. It is not as straightforward as uh, to do as one might think. So it's not as it's not as easy as uh, just say, all right, put voice acting in the game. Boom. It's not that easy. Uh, again, budget is going to be a big thing that it comes to why voice acting is not in the base roster, at least. That was a big... I think somebody, uh, one of the devs on the official Discord said it was going to be around half of their budget if they were to include uh, voice acting. So... In a way, I'm kind of glad that they didn't include it then because they got to find polish and tune up other parts of the game. That's fine with me. Add voice acting later, which they might do. So continuing on, uh, where are we at here? Um, so uh, yes, it's not as straightforward as you might think. 
And as we continue to build the Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl franchise, that's good for the future. Got to continue showing support for it by the game. But uh, they will be reviewing all options, which may, not a confirmation, but may uh, include adding voiceover down the road. This has been, this has happened with other games uh, in the past. Wasn't, uh, uh, what was the, the Power Ranger game? The Battle for the Grid, was that the one? Didn't that launch with no voices whatsoever? They added that after. So it's very possible, depending on how well the game does, that voices, voice lines, sound effects, that type of stuff gets added after launch. Isn't that what a lot of people want, right? So if you if you want to play the game with voices, you know, show your support at least, buy the game. And then it could be a thing that happens and it's like, yes, I did get what I wanted in the end. So. That's good. That's good news. It is a possibility. Again, depending on factors, sales numbers, I'm sure it's going to uh, play a big big uh, thing into uh, the overall thing, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, here's here's an interesting one, right? A lot of people talk about where this, t this roster doesn't have Timmy or Jimmy or Jenny or Doug or there's so many characters that, all right, it, it, the game doesn't have this uh, this specific character for the roster, therefore I'm not buying it. And it's not always as straightforward as, all right, Nickelodeon aired this show, so why aren't they putting this character in? First of all, you can't start with everyone is here. You have to build up to that. I know there should be some OGs that should just probably have been in the base roster, but again, just because we think they should be doesn't mean it's as easy as put them in the roster. No. Here's the thing. So, did your team have any issues with Nickelodeon allowing certain characters for the game? The answer is not at all. There were a small number of characters that had global licensing issues. But apart from that, Nickelodeon has been up for all our suggestions, right? They've been very supportive, very enthusiastic in the collaboration. So that's good. Like Nickelodeon's behind them. Like it sounds like 100%. But it's not like they didn't try to get these characters. It's not like just if we don't see Timmy and Jimmy and Jenny and all these characters, it's not like they didn't think about it. It's not like they didn't want to add them. There are global licensing issues, which kind of makes it, all right, look, if this is going to be a problem, we can't sit here while we're developing the game in hopes that it just magically fixes itself. That's not how this is going to work. They have a deadline to make for the game to release. So if they're sitting there going, please, we just want Timmy. I hope this uh, finally clears up when we can just add him to the game. And then by the time, say, all that does happen, oh, the game should be released. Oh, now we have to delay it. So you can't sit there and dwell on the fact that uh, there's there's a technicality there's something holding up a process and it might just be out of your hands you can't do much with it so you just got to move on so maybe dlc maybe they get a little bit more time to come up with a better plan to help you know this global licensing issue maybe these characters get re-talked about and you know they they might end up being in the game after all because again dlc the possibility so Again, it's not as easy as just, hey, they aired on Nickelodeon, put them in the game. Nah, that's not how that really works. Not how it works. But uh, what else? There's some other interesting stuff here. Uh, oh, yep, here's the uh, confirmed release date, October 5th, just in case. And it does come out here the platforms, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S, uh, Xbox One, the Switch, and, of course, PC. Uh, we already knew per that for, like, almost two months month and a half at least so but uh, we do get the final confirmation October 5th is the confirmed release date which is less than three weeks away so uh, excited there uh, there was something else hold on hold on let me find this where did I where did I see this give me a, give me a minute here give me a minute aha got it got it here we go so uh, another thing that people have been asking for or asking about is game modes what could we possibly see in this is it only going to be like single player versus the computer and then online? Is that the only thing we get? Well, guess what? No, it's not. So which features or modes can players expect for multiplayer or online modes was the question asked. And Joel replies, you can play in lobbies or in quick match onlines. All modes are there, including sports ball, our own fun mode we're bringing over from Slap City. So if anybody's played Slap City and played that sports ball mode, you will know what it is. If you're wondering what sports ball mode is, it's sports with balls. That's how they describe it. There you go. Uh, if you want me to give an explanation, 
I'm sorry, I've never played Slap City. Ah, uh, yeah, I've never played Slap City. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I don't know what the game is. Look, I'm sure you can look it up real quick, but uh, there is a unique mode in this game. So fun to try it out. You know, I got to look it up after this to see exactly what it is. So uh, could be could be very fun. Maybe it's just kind of like, uh, maybe it's not for me, but it's something more, which is really cool to see. So yes. Uh, and then, of course, they do go into other things like, oh, why did you have rollback net code? Because, duh, why wouldn't you for an online game? Uh, they talk about other characters, like why did uh, a Potter Toast Man get into the game? Because, well, he's gonna, uh, he's fun. It's as simple as that. Some characters like like Potter Toast Man, why'd they get in the game? Because they're fun. <laughs> Pretty simple. Uh, and then here's another thing about live action characters as well. They were asked about this once again. If you didn't know, live action characters were uh, disconfirmed for base roster. And it doesn't sound good for them for DLC either. So uh, I wouldn't get your hopes up. But uh, here's the question. Because it was called Nickelodeon and not Nicktoons, can we expect any live action Nickelodeon characters to show up? Will players see any all that characters or something from Are You Afraid of the Dark? Remember Who remembers that show? Sitting around the campfire? Yeah, that was a fun show. I like that. But uh, so answer to the question. There are no live action characters in our base lineup and we are currently not, currently not looking for any future characters either. Or currently looking at any for, uh, they're not looking at any live action characters for future DLC characters. But uh, you never know. But for now we are focusing on cartoon characters. It fits in with the rest of the roster much better. So again, live action characters, if you were hoping for them and you were you know, for base roster, no, they're not happening. If you're hoping for DLC, I guess there's still a possibility, but uh, it's not gonna, It's not looking like it's a good one. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's what that is. Uh, either way, I think uh, that is pretty much what I got for today. That's all I'm going to go over. The link will, of course, be in the description. Feel free to go read it. There's a lot more stuff. There's a lot more stuff. Like, the, like th this thing right here, I'm going to talk about this real quick. Uh, how did the team decide which characters would be a good fit for the roster? Uh, you know, worth they have decades worth of characters to go over. And interestingly enough, it was a joint effort between Ludosity and Game Mill for picking the roster. So it wasn't just Ludosity. It wasn't just Nickelodeon only. It was, you know, it was kind of like a, all right, Ludosity wants this, Game Mill wants this, and they kind of found like the, the, even the balance ground between them, and they went from there. So it was kind of cool. Like it was a joint effort all around. For everybody that's included so good stuff nonetheless there's still more stuff in here again link should be in the description as long as i don't forget to do that either way that is it massive news nonetheless hope you guys enjoyed we're i'm excited we're like i said less than three weeks away from the game I'm sure 20 character base roster might be a letdown but you know what by the time the game releases and i just get to jump in and play it i'll be fine i'll be fine there's there's 20 characters that I've never get to play before. There's 20 characters that you guys have never played before. And we get to map them out. We get to lab them in training if we want. We get to just enjoy brand new characters we've never played before. And just have fun with the game. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. Either way, that is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed as always. And I guess I'll see you when I'm looking at you.